If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell to get the latest updates. Let's start the topic. During the Cold War, the United States successfully sent astronauts to the moon in 1969, while the Soviet Union successfully put the world's first space station into orbit in 1971. In 1970, China launched its first satellite, Dongfang Hong-1. The successful launching marked the start of China's space exploration. However, there was still a big gap in space technology between China and the two superpowers. Nevertheless, China was improving fast. In 2007, China became the third nation to conduct an anti-satellite missile test and shot down one of its satellites. China's action upset the United States and gave the U.S. an excuse to exclude China from cooperation in space. Even though the U.S. has conducted this kind of tests multiple times, much earlier than China, China's missile test proved that it may challenge the U.S. as the dominant power in space. Therefore, due to national security reasons, in 2011, the U.S. Congress included a passage, known as the Wolf Amendment, in an appropriations bill, forbidding NASA from cooperating in any way with China, and barring China from ISS. Being left out of the United States-led international missions, has not deterred China in space, but instead has pushed China, to develop parallel capabilities on its own. In September 2011, China launched its first prototype space station, Tiangong-1. The following Shenzhou 8, 9, and 10 missions proved that China had completely grasped the key technologies required for a permanent space station. In December 2013, China successfully landed Chang'e 3 moon lander and its rover, Gi-2 on the moon. This made China the third country in the world capable of performing lunar soft landing, just after the United States and the Soviet Union. In 2016, Tiangong-2, a more advanced version of the Tiangong-1, and Shenzhou-11, were launched into low Earth orbit. A 33-day crewed spaceflight mission proved that China was ready for a long-term space station built, and maintained by its own. This and previous launches, are seen as pointers to possible crewed missions to the Moon or Mars. In January 2019, China's Chang'e 4 lunar probe landed on the far side of the Moon, making history, as the first time humanity has landed on this side of the Moon. This marks another big step on a path of lunar exploration that China has laid out. In December 2020, China's Chang'e 5 lunar mission returned to Earth with its first moon rocks, making China the third country to have achieved this, after the United States and the Soviet Union. In May 2021, China successfully landed its first rover, named Zhurong, which means God of Fire, on Mars, becoming only the second nation to do so after the United States. On April 29, 2021, China launched Tianer, the 22-ton core module of its Tiangong space station into low Earth orbit, marking the beginning of the construction of Chinese space station. On May 30th, Tianzhou 2 cargo spacecraft successfully docked with the Tianer core module. On June 17, China launched the Shenzhou 12 spacecraft, and sent three Taikonauts to the space station. The three Taikonauts will begin a three-month space research mission. According to China Man Space Agency, CMSA, the Tianzhou 3 cargo spacecraft, and Shenzhou 13 manned spaceship will also be launched later this year. Another three Taikonauts will then begin their six-month stay in orbit. After the five launch missions this year, China plans to have six more missions, including the launch of the Wentian and Mingtian lab modules, two cargo spacecraft, and two crew spaceships. The station is scheduled to be completed by the end of 2022, with the International Space Station slated for retirement, as early as 2024, or possibly in 2028, any countries that aim to establish a long-term human presence, in low Earth orbit, might need to cooperate with China, on the Chinese space station. The United States effort to exclude China from its space operation, doesn't appear to be slowing China's rapidly growing space program. Now, China, has completely caught up with its space technological gap, and even surpassed the United States in some areas. China, has become the third country capable of building its space stations alone. One of the bigger misconceptions about China's technology, is that China is all about copying and stealing ideas. But the reality is, some of the Western tech companies are learning from China now. From imitation, to innovation, China has emerged as a tech powerhouse, and, slowly become the rival that the U.S. politicians fear most, 
after the Soviet Union. Let us know in the comment down below if you have any different opinions. Thank you so much for watching. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and share them with people you know. See you in our next video. Bye.